welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Somerset Patriots. Luis Gill, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Now to the plate, here is DJ LeMayhew, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. First pitch, one o'clock. High in the air out to center field. Dominguez is right there, one down. Batting second, the designated hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. In now is the Yankees' DH, Giancarlo Stanton. First offering. Giancarlo swings and this ball is hit well into left field but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Hey there's a bullet off the wall the outfielder does a that really good job of getting so that like one in quickly but I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah I'm not sure what's going on there Dan I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Here's big Aaron Judge. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. And a long run, but he gets there, and that's good range in the outfield as there are two gone. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Has a look, now the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye, this one ain't coming back. So a two run shot to left center and this is now a two to nothing lead for the Yankees. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. That will bring in Giovanni Urshela. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. Some two out success to keep the top of the first alive. That Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Hit in the air down the right field line. Ambergy is under it and he makes the catch for out number three. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 2 0 New York. Garrett Cole is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan, any thoughts? Not many better in the game than this guy right here, Matt Garrett Cole. He brings the goods. Fastball approaches near 100 miles an hour. Hard assortment of breaking pitches. And on top of that, he's a winner and he loves to be a big game pitcher. You'll know early if he's attacking the strike zone and has a 1 2 3 inning. Pretty good chance he's not giving up very many runs in this one. As he hits one on a line to left field. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. And these fans could not have asked for a better way to start their day. A leadoff triple in the home half, and they're off and running. To the plate now, Zach Zaner. 
Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. And they're on the board as now it's a 2-1 ball game. And he is in there with an RBI triple. This is an easy decision for him to try for third because he has the play right in front of him. So he doesn't have to rely on any of his base coaches. Good decision to keep chugging, and he makes it all the way around safely. Standing in now, Chris Gittens fouled off. Runner at third here, nobody out. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. And they've come back to tie it up as it's now a 2 2 ball game. That was a that good cool. controlled swing the out right of him field. there, and that's exactly what he was hoping to do get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. So we're back to even now after the sack fly and that'll bring up the outfielder Trey Ambergy. This one's flared off to the right side. LeMahieu has a play two gone. Batting fifth. The shortstop. Anthony. Okay. Now at the plate here is Anthony Volpe. Cole has his target. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. The throw into second. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the second opening frame base. was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. At the plate now, Wilkerman Garcia. Line but speared on a hop. Throw to the plate. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. Third baseman. Digging in next, Max Burt. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. Hicks finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. On now to the top half of inning number two, and we are tied 2-2. Now at the plate, Aaron Hicks. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Aaron Hicks. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. In there, a base hit. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Look at him jump all over that first pitch, using aggression to get himself a knock through the right side. In now, Gary Sanchez as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. From the belt, kicks and deals. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. It's a two run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a two run lead.
Yeah, and if you remember the previous pitch, he couldn't get around on a fastball and was mad at himself. Well, there's nothing to be mad about anymore unless you're the guy standing on the mound wondering what just happened. Into the box, Clint Frazier. As he'll lift it up in the air, this is back behind second. Garcia, stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One up gone. Next to the, Yankees, the second baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Digging in now for the Yankees, DJ LeMahieu. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he will make the play. Two away now. Now that Striding forward now is the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Popped him up. Bird in foul ground. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 4-2 to two, New York. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the DH, Michael Beltre. First delivery to him. High in the air out to center field. Hicks is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting none. The catcher, Anthony Siegler. Digging in will be Anthony Siegler as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. And quickly, there are two away. Now batting, center fielder. Next to hit, Jason Dominguez. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Cole gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Here's a little chopper to the right side. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Now back. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. And that's in there. Base hit. Two quick outs from the eight nine guys in the order but the top of the order now it's a different First story base. a knock and then another single back to back and now you got traffic with the big guys coming up. Stepping in now Chris Gittens high fly ball out to straightaway center. And the two out threat won't pay off the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. First pitch coming, here it is. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Ambergy has it, and it's a quick out number one. The bat. Ready to take his hacks again. Luke Voigt lasted a two run homer in his last at bat. Going back to that last AB, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off speed pitches. There's no way around it. This has been a rough start on the mound. So it'll be interesting to see how long that man is going to let him go. Maybe he settles in and can give you another inning or so, but I wouldn't bet on it at this point. 
And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. To the plate now, Gio Urshela. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Next up will be Glaber Torres, and he puts it on the ground to second, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Two-out double left stranded. More baseball on the show right after this. Bottom of the third now, and digging in is the outfielder, Trey Ambergy. The right fielder, Trey. First offering on its way. Pitch popped up. Voigt over to his left, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting. Now it'll be Anthony Volpe, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch now right back. there and drove Second it into baseman. the outfield for a base hit. Garcia. At the plate, Wilkerman Garcia. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, man. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters, and go Gretz bench. Into the box now, Max Burt. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Liner towards second. He leaps but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. In the score is the runner from first. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. So now to the plate, Michael Beltre. And he has some trouble with it. Anthony Siegler swing and a liner but this lands foul for the first strike tying run at third winning run at first so a ball into the gap might be able to end it down the first baseline but that'll get foul it's 0-2 now hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff but this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball Two back to back. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And the throw will be in time as they'll wind up stranding the possible tying run at third base. And this ball game is over. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. The Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Garrett Cole is credited with the win. Luis Gill worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.
our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees, four runs on six hits, no errors, they left two men on base. For the Patriots, three runs.